guys, what is going on? Welcome back. Now today I have for you guys an awesome 150k squad builder. Now this team is going to be built around the new SPC Getson Fernandez. This is a road to the final card, so it is a live item. He does play in the Liga Nas for Benfica, and I'm not too sure how they're playing now. Let me know down below in the comment section if he has any chance of getting an upgrade, but even if he doesn't, for the SPC price of about 12k, he's still worth it. Every stab of 70 quite well rounded, and as I've said, the SPC super cheap. Drop a like on the video if you do enjoy and subscribe if you guys do find this helpful. Also if you guys do want me to build you a hybrid be sure to click the link down below in the description. I'll make you the best possible team I can for only five pounds. And let's go ahead and start building the squad. The goalkeeper is gonna be from La Liga and we're gonna be going with Ariola. A really OP goalkeeper 6 for 5 My go-to goalkeeper on FIFA 20. Then the center back on the left hand side we're gonna be going with Lengle. A really solid player. One of the top center backs on the game. 75 pace, 86 defense. Defending, very good pace, decent agility, very good ball control, and defensively he's a beast. 25k, so not that expensive anymore. Then the left back, it is gonna be a player from the Liga Nas. That is gonna be Grimaldo. 85 pace, 84 dribbling, nice pace, really good on the ball for a fullback, and he's alright defensively. Is gonna be a bit expensive as he does get that strong link to Fernandez. Then the center back on the right hand side, it is gonna be Edo Molotau, the most broken center back on FIFA 20. I would honestly take this guy over most center backs. 79 pace, and he feels really quick in game very agile and he's insane defensively intercepts everything for about 2k a complete bargain then the right back it is going to be a bonus eagle player that is going to be Klasterman you can also go off like the Costa but Klasterman's a bit better 85 pace 6 foot 2 he is kind of clunky but defensively he's very good and that right there has been the back line the right center mid is going to be the blue Havertz now I know he hasn't had much of an upgrade it's only a plus one but this design is insane he's about 15k as well so not that expensive 85 pace 85 dribbling 4 4 star 4 star you can play him as a cam or a center mid he has decent pace very good sprint speed or really good shot on him on the ball he's quite good he's kind of clunky sometimes that's really the only issue you guys can use any german player from the Bundesliga on this position so go ahead and go off like Goretzka if you want more defensive player then the middle center mid is going to be a player from La Liga that is going to be De Young, one of my favorite midfielders 79 pace 88 dribbling medium high work rates plays really well as a cdm he has good pace for a midfielder awesome on the ball quite agile and defense he's actually really good you can't go wrong for about 12k then the final midfielder on the left hand side it is gonna be of course the new SPC gets in Fernandez a very cheap SPC I think I did it for free I had every player in my club already but if you do it from scratch it should cost you from like 10 to like 15k and he is a live item so potentially gonna be getting upgrades even if he doesn't I still think the SPC is worth the price if Benfica do win their first game in the knockout stage I believe he will be an 83 and looking at the card right now it looks very good he got a massive upgrade from the regular card a plus five on pace plus five on shooting plus eight on passing plus seven on dribbling plus eight on defending and a plus four on physical actually a huge upgrade he's 511 high high work rates three star weak fall and skills but that really doesn't matter for a center mid and looking at the income stats they're very impressive for an 81 nice pace a decent shot good passing great dribbling and okay defending and physical overall this card really doesn't have any major cons he does everything really well he's actually really similar to the young and if you do look at their total in-game stats he's actually a lot better as you can see Fernandez does get 2292 and the young 2216 so is he better than the young I think the young still a tad better but not by much if I were you guys I would highly recommend this SPC as I've said he really doesn't have any cons and you can play him as a center mid or a CDM definitely don't play him at cam he doesn't have the weak four skills and his finishing isn't good enough but if you do play him as a center mid or CDM this guy's perfect so that right there has been the midfield then the left wing we are gonna be going with Guedes, a really sweaty player, 90 pace, 4 star, 4 star, I do have him for chemistry, a really usable player, has great pace, decent finishing and he isn't that weak, then the right wing, it is gonna be a bonus eagle player, that is gonna be Nabri, one of the top wingers on the game, 90 pace, 82 shooting, very good pace, really good finishing for a winger, he's very agile and feels fairly strong, then the final player, the striker, we are gonna be going with the main man himself, Griezmann, the most expensive player in this team, but probably the best, this guy's incredible this year, 81 pace, 86 shooting, shooting an awesome left foot very good on the ball super clinical 81 pace we're not the quickest player but he is fast enough for under 100k the best striker you can buy and that right there has been the team built for about 150k an awesome team now showing you guys how it does play in game i do play in the 4-2-3-1 fernandez and the young do play as the cdms go out as Havertz and nabri as the cams then as striker griezmann that's the best way to use this team in game you can also play in the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation play the young as a cdm go as a cam and up top Griezmann 
Roman and Aubrey. Either formation does work, I usually switch them between both. It really depends on who I'm facing. And I'll show you guys my custom tactics. For the defensive style, I go ahead and set it on press after possession loss. Then for the whiff, I go ahead and put it on 4 and also for the depth on 4. Then for the offensive style, I go ahead and set it on balanced. The whiff I don't touch. Then for the players in the box, I go ahead and up it by 1. Then I do leave free kicks and corners the same. Then for the player instructions, I set the right back and left back on stay back while attacking. The CDMs on cut passing lane stay back while attacking and cover center. The cams on stay forward with the middle cam on free roam. Then the striker on stay central, get in behind and stay forward. Those right there are the player instructions in the 4 2 3 1. So again, that right there has been the team built. The 150k squad builder with the SBC gets in Fernandez. A very nice card, super cheap. For about 15k, I would highly recommend the SBC. He is a live item. He might get an upgrade, but even if he doesn't, he still played quite well in the game. Doesn't feel like he's only 81 rated. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you have. Subscribe if you're new. And if you guys do want me to build you a custom team, your own hybrid, be sure to click the link down below in the description. It's been ETG, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.